Welcome back everyone to episode 10 of Let's Build Twitter. Last episode we went through and actually set up a method to grab a credential to log us into the Google API and to send emails as another user. This episode we're going to go ahead and go through and set up a service to allow us to send emails through the Gmail API as well as also probably make it so we can send the email. So let's go ahead and hop in straight to the code. We need to do one more thing to actually get a Gmail service to send Gmails as me. So go ahead and we're going to say at bean. And we're going to say public Gmail get service like so. And I kind of made a mess here. There we go. Go ahead and import bean. That way it creates this Gmail object for us and import Gmail. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say net HTTP transport. And we're going to say HTTP underscore transport like so. And then we're going to say try. We're going to attempt to kind of get our credentials all set up and make it so we can send emails. We're going to say HTTP underscore transport is equal to Google net transport dot new trusted transport. This is also coming straight from Google itself. That's how I kind of figured this out and you just had to kind of read the documentation and this should be Google net HTTP. Then we're going to say return new Gmail dot builder. And this is going to take in all of this do. I don't think it needs this one. What is this asking for? I don't think we need this. We're going to say dot set application name to our application name and dot build like so and go ahead and add this and we may need to import something here oh no it needs it says http request but this one doesn't need it gmail return new gmail dot builder transport oh we need the git git credentials and then we'll go ahead and pass in that HTTP underscore transport. That's what I was missing. There we go. Now that will build it and return it. Otherwise, we're going to catch an error. So we're going to catch a general security exception or an IO exception. Either or could happen. And then here I'll just say e dot print stack trace. Like so, and then return null. And we need to obviously go ahead and import these. So go ahead and import these exceptions. Well, cool. so now we can actually get the service and try to send emails. To send these emails, we're going to need to create a new service inside of our services and then also make something inside of our authentication controller and all of that good stuff. First, let's go ahead and go into our services and make a new mail service. So go ahead and say class. I'm going to call this mail service. For now, we are essentially just going to be sending straight text, nothing fancy, but we'll make it nicer later on. So we're going to say at um, service and import service. And then we also need a private final service. Private final Gmail. We'll call this service and we'll auto wire this. So at auto wired public mail service Gmail service this dot service equal to service. Although I don't really like the name service. Maybe I should call it Gmail. So let's rename this to Gmail and this to Gmail and this to Gmail and this to Gmail looks, whoops, looks a little bit nicer. Cool. So now whenever we go to send an email, we need to do the logic inside of here. Let's go ahead and make a new method public void send email. It's going to need a string to address. It's going to need a string subject and a string content. 
This is going to throw an exception or it could throw an exception. So go ahead and duck that and voila. So now we can do the logic of actually sending the email. So go ahead and say properties props is equal to new properties. Again, this is off of Google's website. So I'm not like doing anything crazy here. I just kind of borrowed it from Google. We're going to need a session session equals session dot get instance props and no. Finally, we're going to say mime message email equal to new mime message with the session. All right, so now we need to set some information of this my message encode it and send it well i have a try first we're going to say email dot set from so we're going to set who it's from this is going to come from a new internet address and this is going to come from me so unknown coder yt at gmail.com and we need to import internet address from java mail we need to email dot add recipient so this is going to be the to address so we're going to say java x dot mail dot message dot uh, whoops that should be uppercase message dot recipient type dot two and this is going to be um, new internet address And then this is going to be to address. So we'll pass in the person that we're sending it to. Next, we need to set the subject. So email dot set subject. So this is going to be the subject line. We need to set the content. Email dot set to content. Get me. And this will be the content inside. So content. And now what we had to do and this should be text my bad so later on we will make this an html but i'm not going to deal with that right now but to send a gmail you have to encode it before you send it and then it'll get decoded or whatever so to decode it or to encode it when you say byte array output stream uh, buffer equals new byte array output stream like so and go ahead and import this after this we're going to say email dot write to buffer and then we're going to say byte raw message bytes is equal to buffer dot to byte array we need this byte array so we can encode the email so we're going to say string encoded email is equal to base 64 dot encode base 64 URL safe string. We're going to pass in that and hopefully this came from Apache. Let me double check. Well, it did come from Apache and then from here we can go ahead and create the email. So message message is equal to new message again there's a lot of hoops you have to jump through to get this to actually work go ahead and import that i don't know if this is from java mail or let me double check so message comes from google just wanted to make sure and then what we can do is go ahead and set the raw message so message dot set raw to that encoded email that we created and then finally we can try to send it so message equal to gmail dot and go ahead and say users dot messages dot send now this is important i didn't know about this but this has to be me it can't be like your email address or anything then finally you want to execute so now we are going to go ahead and try essentially we're going to go ahead and send the message or we're going to catch and it's possible that we could get a Google JSON response exception. 
So this is like if something goes wrong. So let's say Google JSON error. Error is equal to e.get uh, details, like so. We'll import this. And then we'll also say if error.get code is equal to 403. Um, we'll say unable to send message row E. So we'll just essentially throw that exception. Otherwise, um, we'll catch another exception. So go ahead and say catch exception. And I guess we could just get rid of all this and say catch exception E and deal with it. Exception E. Like so. And then just say um, delete this. And we're going to throw new email failed to send exception. So if something goes wrong, we'll throw an exception and we'll deal with it. Go ahead and create this class inside of our dot exceptions. We'll go ahead and extend runtime exception. And then we'll just quickly give this what it needs, zero ID. And then we'll say public email failed to send exception. And this is just going to say super the email failed send. And we can make a handler for that inside of our auth controller. That's going to be it in this episode, everyone. Thank you all for watching. We actually went ahead and got it so that we can take our Gmail API and send an email. Of course, we still need to take it one step farther and make it so that we can take a request from our client, send it all the way to the server, and then send an email from that. So next episode, that is what we're actually going to be working on. As always, I appreciate you all. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out in the algorithm. If you guys are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. That way you know exactly when this video comes out. If you have any suggestions or anything you might want me to build in the future, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. With that being said, this has been Ethan on Encoder. Peace out. I'll see you guys next episode. Have a good day, everybody.